Hello everyone, welcome back to another Security Rich related video. Today we're going to be going over a couple of uh, issues and problems I went through while building this Pizzaplex. Because what I've noticed is that uh, quite, a, quite a bit of my fan base have actually tried recreating their own Security Breach maps into Minecraft. And I've had uh, quite a few questions about, you know, what problems, uh, what, should they, what should they do if they run into a situation. So today I'm going to be making a video to clarify it. If you are someone from the past who asked a question, or if you're someone brand new to the channel, I mean a lot, if you could subscribe if you haven't already, and let's just get straight into the video. So first, we're going to start off with the atrium ceiling. Now, the atrium ceiling was a really hard uh, thing to get down, because first, I had no idea what it looked like. I had to send a couple of my friends in the security breach with brightness on, just so we can get a couple of uh, good glances at it, and a couple of uh, photos, you know, online, which, when you look up uh, atrium ceiling, you never really get a good follow-up of what's going to pop up. So that's why I decided to send a couple of my friends to uh, go into the actual game and do it. You're gonna have a quite a quite a challenge trying to look for a couple of images. So if you're building your own security breach map, it would be completely fine if you try to copying what I did because I mean we're just both building security breach anyways. It's not like we're copying one another. You know we're both doing the same exact thing. But another good idea if you don't want to do that and you want to create your own is by going into the actual game with full brightness on. That's a good idea to do with uh, the entire map. So uh, that's it for the uh, ceiling of the atrium. Now let's get to a couple of the other ceilings that are a bit hard to get down because there's a lot of dark areas in the security breach. So a good idea of what to do with the ceiling, since uh, the ceilings are a bit of a hard place to look for, is by looking for a fitting solid color you can make the roof. If you think it would be solid to just do green, like this Monte Golf area we're looking at currently, then make it green, like I did. But if it's a little bit of a more complicated ceiling, kind of like L Chips, then I recommend going with a little bit of a more simple design, but still try coming up with something for the roof. Then sometimes it's a bit of a good idea to just come up with a block that fits, and then just try getting the details of the ceiling. Like right here, I decided to just use, you know, the iron bars, and then I just went for a normal block like polish andesite, and look, I think it fits pretty fine. So, yeah, a good idea is just to go with that when you're working on the ceilings and security breach. It may not be you, but a lot of people who actually build security breach maps don't just want a functional, you know, FNAF security breach map. They also want a place where they can kind of like role play or walk around in like they're actually Gregory or a kid in a giant pizza plex. That's why it's nice to make like little tables like this where it actually can feel like you're a little kid at a birthday party instead of like a, a small miniature size like this where it just looks like you're sitting on a bench. It's kind of like a problem I went through uh, with my city where I didn't know if I wanted to go with, you know, a normal citizen in a pretty large city or if you wanted to be like a little kid exploring like a gigantic, you know, big city. Now, what I decided to go with was Gregory, which is a small kid in a gigantic city, which is the entire, you know, security breach map. So I kind of just went with, you know, video clips from like Markiplier, Jacksepticeye, or, um, you know, sometimes me when I'm playing the game I use for reference. I used those clips from what Gregory looked like, and I thought, eh, this looks like his legs, I think this is a pretty good size, so I decided to make this a photo booth. You know, you want to kind of think of scale. Now, let's get into this little thing that I've had a couple of people question me about. Right, so we're back in the lobby. Now, I had a, a couple of people kind of ask me, why did I make my lobby so gigantic compared to, you know, a couple of my other friends? Because a couple of my other friends made it a lot, you know, less, you know, big, like big these. You know, they made it a little bit more like you're a, a normal adult walking around. Where I went for a little Gregory walking around with like a giant statue right here like a giant area you know so I went for a bit of a different scale I mean it can sometimes look weird with this people sometimes dislike what it looks like but I say whatever looks good with you you can make it big um you can make it small you can make it you know a bit in between whatever it kind of just works with you just try making all of it kind of fit with that size because if you have a little atrium and then you have like a very large lobby like this, then it might look a bit weird. Now we're going to get to another little tip. Now I think this will be helpful for a lot of the people that have kind of started off their map or are kind of looking to give up. 
Now, a lot of people have asked me, how do I have all the time to, you know, build places like this with tons of other projects, an entire YouTube channel, obviously real life and like school? How do I get all this done and how should I do it if it's, you know, such a big deal? Now, you don't have to full out go, you know, look at tons of videos to make it exactly accurate. A couple of my friends just decided to make like a fun little, you know, miniature map, you know, that would be nice walking through. It doesn't have to be super, super detailed. It can look nice, but it takes a lot of time. It's still a good, you know, if you, you know, got rid of a couple of these like little, you know, grass little things, it would still look like a nice atrium. You don't have to go the extra mile for everything. It might make it look better, but don't work yourself way too hard. So. You don't have to work yourself so hard about it. If you want, you can make a simple little version of the atrium, and it'll look just fine. So, yeah, that's just a little bit of help for people who want to start it or looking to give up a little bit. Now we're going to go on to the final tip for you guys who are building the security version of Minecraft. Now my final one is to definitely make decisions and try making like layouts and outlines for things at the start. Because this Monte Golf area you're seeing right now, this area took a couple of tries because we didn't know what scale we're going to go off of. A couple things were a bit off. Um, we didn't know, like, a couple of, you know, areas went up, like, a little hill, but it didn't match with the other side. So, we kind of tried our best to make it look, you know, kind of nice and pleasing to the eye. So, definitely, you know, look at the game and try getting, like, a reference of what it looks like. And then, you know, try making, like, some sort of layout so you already know what it's going to look like. Instead of just watching it through and taking a look at it. Because then eventually you're going to run into obstacles you wouldn't expect before. And you might have to redo what things, like, what their size looks like. And places like little stages and back areas you might think, oh, wait, that's what it looks like. And then later in, like, a video or a reference, you're going to notice that there's tons of detail. And it leads to, like, a super secret security office or something. So, make sure to already get the entire area, you know, laid out. We did that a couple of times. We don't do it too often. But that's just, you know, my final tip of the day of, uh, for, you know, building your uh, pizza plex. So, that's going to be it for this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed. I really hope this was uh, helpful to all you guys who are working on Security Breach. If you haven't already, it would mean a lot if you could subscribe. We are almost finished with building Security Breach. And if you want to see more content on my Security Breach map, then there's more on my channel. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I will see you guys in the next video. See you guys.